In the previous video, we learned more about common factors. In this video, we will learn more about common factors by some interesting examples. Golu has 12, 18 and 24 liters of milk filled in different pots. But Golu doesn't remember which utensil has how many liters of milk. Golu is thinking that he will measure the milk of all those utensils using a single vessel. Children, can you tell us what capacities of utensils can Golu use? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. First, we will write the factors of 12, 18 and 24. What do we have to do to find the utensils that Golu can use to measure milk? Exactly! We need to find common factors of 12, 18 and 24. 1, 2, 3 and 6 are common factors of these numbers. I can easily measure the milk filled in these pots using a pot of 2, 3 or 6 liters. And the largest of these is a capacity of 6 liters. So we can definitely measure the milk filled in these utensils with a 6 liter vessel. Thought Golu. Children, out of the common factors of numbers, the largest number is called the highest common factor. Out of all the common factors of 12, 18 and 24, 6 is the largest. Therefore, we can say that 6 is the highest common factor of 12, 18 and 24. Golu began measuring the milk filled in all those pots with a 6 litre vessel. To measure the milk filled in this vessel, Golu used that 6 litre pot twice. For this pot, he used the 6 litre pot three times. And to measure the milk filled in this pot, Golu used his 6 litre vessel four times. In this way, Golu came to know that 12 litres of milk are filled in this pot, 18 litres in this one and 24 litres of milk in this pot. Children, if Golu's pots were filled with 30, 42 and 48 litres of milk, can you tell what capacity would be used? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. These numbers 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the common factors of 30, 42 and 48. Out of them, 6 is the highest number or the highest common factor. Therefore, Golu would use only a 6 litre pot to measure 30, 42 and 48 litres of milk. Golu measured the milk filled in his pots and labelled them in this way so that he again does not forget the amount of milk filled in them. Children, in this video, we learned more about common factors by some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some interesting concepts related to this.